eBay have removed some of our listings without us knowing. Stay tuned to find out the values and how many there are. Hi and welcome back to M's Den. Woo! <laughs> Woo! We've been ill, I'm afraid. Yeah. So I'm sorry, we've missed a couple of videos. Yeah, I know. The but, last uh, video we filmed was last year, huh? It was. It? it was the 29th, 29th or something like that, when we it? filmed the last video. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so today's uh, video is really a follow on from that, isn't it? Yeah. It's, um, we, we, we're going to show you more in depth as to what had uh, been removed by eBay. Mm. Um, well, literally just dropped off, There's a, vanished. Not a trace of the listings at all. No. Um, and um, yeah, we did a stock take. Um, and yeah, it just, it just showed that, I don't know, we've just got so much stock that's just fallen off of eBay. There's just, just no trace of it at all. So this, which is, which is very, very frustrating. Do you remember how many listings it was? Um, I've got, I've got them in front of me, but I can't no, actually it was remember. 21. 21 listings. 21. 21 listings. That is, that's ridiculous, you know. Because um, you lost the bet, didn't you, hun? I did lose the bet. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bet, yes. Where <laughs> we guessed, didn't we? You guessed 10, I guessed yeah. 9 listings might have dropped off. And, um, yeah, the loser had to make dinner. Yes, and for all of those that were interested, um, thank you very much. Yes, dinner was lovely. You made a lovely jacket <laughs> potato and cheesy jacket potato. Yeah. Which, you know, doesn't we, sound a lot. It doesn't we, sound a lot, but we haven't had one for a long no, time. No, for a long time. We don't normally eat potato, do we? No. So to have a great big crispy one with cheese on. Oh, it was <laughs> lovely, huh? Wasn't it lovely? It was lovely, yeah. Anyway, we've gone on about we, food. We have gone on about food, so yeah. So you're watching this to we've see. We've also got we... a coffee. Yeah. So cheers. Yes, yes, yeah, cheers. It, it's, it's helping our throats. Yes, because we've still got sore throats. And, um, mm. yeah. So it's lovely, done. Thank you. That's all right. So we start then Anytime. and go through what we've got. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we've got 21 listings here that have literally fallen off without a trace. There were a couple more. Um, but we, um, that, that, that's something I took off and it was my fault and I remember doing that mm. because I was going to create like a bulk listing, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, a bit of human and, error. Um, and it's human error, that's so right. I, okay. I remember doing that. But all of these I definitely did not take off. No. They had literally fallen off of eBay without a trace. So this is what the stock take does, isn't it? it yes, it, it, this it, is why we do a stock this take. This is why we do a stock take, exactly. Is There's stuff sat on the shelf doing nothing basically it's not listed anywhere and it's it's literally doing nothing so yeah so mm. we'll um run through um yes it, is, work, it is worth mentioning we are quite strict um in the where we film in the garage that is where we keep all our live listings mm. um so as soon as we realize something's not listed it comes out comes out of there yeah uh, we don't we, do any mixing, do we? Only we live listings are in that garage so when we've realized that, that it's not sort of section we yeah. bought them all out we took them all into the living room, yeah. and before we were real, we went through all the prices. Yeah. Well, I say we, I went through all the prices, because yeah. that's one of the things I do. Yeah. Um, and now I'm going to show you, um, just to give you a sense of how much had fallen off, um, because this is why um, a regular stock take should be undertaken. Because yeah, sometimes somebody... you can have chunks of money sat there and you just don't know. This was two years uh, ago, wasn't it, since we did yeah. the, the, the <clears> last one. And... Um, yeah, it, it needs to be done at least once a year. Yeah, if I think not, so. And, and, you know, maybe once every six months. It depends on your system and how quick you can do it. But um, if you can do it once a year, it's best to. Yeah, and someone did um, point out um, in the um, in the comments that it would would have been a good idea to do it before Q4. And when you think about it, you think, well, yeah, in the summer, yeah, it's quiet uh, in the summer for us, isn't it? it yes. It's sales to be honest with you, that is, that is the best option, really. But yeah. we, we, we were... I don't know, we seemed quite busy, didn't we? And yeah. it's one of those jobs that you don't really want to do, but it really does need to be done. Yeah, and I think we, yeah. we do spend most of the year gearing up for Q4, so when, when the boot sales open, that's where we get most of our profit from. So we, yes. we are quite actively sourcing there, yeah. and then we're trying to get it listed so that we have a, an, enough stuff. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yes, it would be a good idea to, in the summer, <coughs> you could quite easily break it down and, and you know, especially for the toys. Yes. This is the, what, what they were saying is that 
checking the toys beforehand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and mean, it is a good is, idea. It, yeah. it makes sense, doesn't it? Not it does wait, make not sense. Not wait until after it's been busy. <laughs> yeah, no, we, it's just, we, we did it previously <clears throat> in that time, so that's when we, we, we thought we'd um, do it we'd again. Get, get in that time, that period sort of yeah. thing. So, anyway, shall we start? Yeah, shall I, shall I start with one of these? Yeah, um, these... if you pass one of those over, I'll show you. Yeah, that's lovely. These are the Barbie cash registers, hun. Um, yeah, I, think, I was annoyed about these. Yeah, this, because well, a lot of this, to be honest is, with you, I'm annoyed about because it all would have gone yeah. definitely over Christmas. Um, but yeah, so we've got a cash register there. So we had two of these hung that were the class as damaged packaging. That's right. Yeah. Um, and these are going to go back up for 19.99. Now it is worth noting that um, I did I did time how long. It, had taken to go through all these prices because it is important to sort of know um, with this sort of thing and it's one hour 53 minutes hun it's taken me to go through all these 21 items getting all the pricing again yeah a job which I've already done in the past I know that, that, that's the frustrating. frustrating thing about it is that you've already done the work you've already done the research you've already done the listing photographs everything everything's yeah, but, been done yeah. and then for some reason boom you've got to just, do it all again you've got to do it all again I shall um, take that and bung that back there I know these were listed because we, we had more than that. We did sell some. Yeah, that's it. Um, but in a way, it is what it is. One. Did oh. you give the good price on that? Um, no, but you've got them down there if you want to yeah, show well, it. Yeah, well, it's exactly the same item. It is? Oh, yeah, you can do them. So, again, it's, it's basically the same <laughs> item. So we've got like. damaged packaging at 19.99. We're listing them up for, and good good packaging is 22.99. When we say damaged packaging, it, there's not a huge difference. No. between the two um, the it's just the dog, scuff yeah bent card or things like that and if it was really damaged we would take it out of packaging wouldn't we yeah that's it um next we've got a uh, caston uh, post box it's um you know child's toy um it's, it's one of the sh like shape saucer shape style quite vintage looking as well it is that actually yeah. When I was a kid yeah but um, but yeah, we have four of these four, huh? again. Four that have just been sat there on the shelf doing mm. nothing. Um, these we're going to be putting back up for nine ninety nine each. Yeah, not a massively expensive no. item, but there are quite a lot well, of them they are own, as well. Yeah, they are only plastic, and um, you know they're, they're they're good for a little one, aren't they? Mm. But um, but yeah, so that's well. Four of those. Four of those. So that's nearly forty pounds worth. Again, we do love a multi-listing hun. Oh, we do. Oh, we love a multi-listing. So we've got this tummy stuffer next hun. The prices are a bit mixed yeah. online, but it's basically a, a plush toy with a, a like a pouch in its belly that you can you put, put stuff into. Yeah, so it's not like pajamas or anything. Mm, I think you can pretty much hide anything in there. Yeah, though. yeah. So it's a cuddly toy for the bedroom. It sort of goes thing, into his it? mouth oh, like he's eating it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> We've got one of those hunts, pink and purple, and we're going to be putting that up for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. 18 months plus. Yeah. So it's quite nice, That's... isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Now this item here, these have always been really popular. Oh. You've had them, they've flown out, so you were probably We've annoyed. had a few of these in the past, and yeah. We I normally was get really them annoyed. damaged, don't we? Normally get them with damage. Yeah, I mean, when we say damage, I mean, you don't really can see really, but on the corner, yeah. there's like a scuff mark on the corners and that. It doesn't actually affect the product. Um, everything's still fine inside. It's, it's just that there's just slight bits of damage. Um, so, yeah, Spirograph, really annoyed about this. They go really well. Um, and um, it's a deluxe set that's going back up for sixteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, again, it's, it's, this is perfect Q four stuff. Yeah, it would have gone because so, all the others didn't, they? Yeah. So we've got the Godzilla. These have again, always been really popular. We've had a few of these. The old and skull they, crawler. Yeah, and they sold well. Um, but yeah, skull crawler. <clears throat> see this that. was this is thirteen ninety nine, hun. Yeah, it's only a small one. But it's in quite but, good um, nick, isn't it? That would have been a good one, I think. Yeah. It's not damaged packaging. No. Which is nice. So yeah, that would have been popular. Yep. This is a Glimmy's Aquarius. Again, we've got Glimmy's a few of these something in the other. past. Uh, so if I can get there without the light shining. Not a lot of value though, hun. Quite a surprise. Not? No, six ninety nine. 
Yeah, that is, is quite low. Sometimes it does make you wonder whether it's worth our time putting it on or whether we'll bundle it. Yeah, I think, because um, I have got some other glimmy stuff, so I think mm. we probably would start bundling that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, you're right. I mean, doing something for six ninety nine really is it worth, worth our worth both your time? Because I... I'll create the listing, Paul will do all the photography and put the item away and everything and then you've got to wrap it and pack it. And, yeah. You know, if you're only going to make a pound or two, it's sometimes you could be doing something, working on other items where you can be making ten pound. So yeah. you've got to look at your time, haven't you, with this sort of thing. You have, yeah. So That's for the it. purposes of this video, this item would be priced at six ninety nine on eBay. But whether we actually put it back on... As, as a single or as yeah. a multi, we, we, we'll make that decision. Because we've still got other tubs to go through. We might be adding... Yes. Put some of the lower end oh, stuff yeah, with that, it. That's not it. We haven't done all the stock <clears throat> take yet. <laughs> no, no, we've still got all those tubs to go through. <coughs> Excuse me. So what um, else we got there? These, all these right, so let's go for vintage the... items. Yeah, we've got these are three um, like three bracelets. Enamel style bracelets. Um, these yeah. again are quite low, hun, seven ninety nine. Right, again, so it might be a thing where we, we might add something else to it to make it a bit Yeah. Have a bit more worth to it. Can't really See, I've got but... some jewellery stashed away. I might have a little bit of a bundling session. Yeah, yeah. And what have we got there? That, that's like a little Swinnerton's plate, I think. Swinnerton's side oh. plate. Again, six ninety nine. But with this sort of thing, what, what can you bundle it with? We haven't got any other Swinnerton's plates, so... Yeah. Um, whether we end up putting Yeah, it we're, we're, we're not sure on things like this at the moment. Um, but we have got some other stuff which is not worth putting on singly, so you, you're no. right, we, we could do auction, maybe. Yeah, could do auction. I mean, some Are people... we talking eBay auction? Are we talking um, like auction house? I don't know, probably, yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. some people do buy, you know, odd bits and put them on their wall, don't they, as decorations? They do, so yeah, yeah. I think what we'll do is, we'll, for the purposes of this video, this item is worth about um, do I say six ninety nine? Mm. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll put it aside. When, once we've gone through all the tubs, if we've got any other plates, we might make yeah. some sort of plate might, bundle. Yeah. Who yeah. knows, my love? Who knows? This is lovely. <clears throat> I think some um, famous make made a very similar style. So whether this is a copy of that, um, right. I've, I've called it vintage horse riding plate. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the technical terms for it. No. But I have priced it at eleven ninety nine, so I so think that'll we, probably be worth we doing. We may get a tenner. Yeah. Um, it's it's nice. It's it looks very good condition though. It is. It's in lovely condition actually. You know, that's got a bit of age to it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I thought, well, um, we'll give it. A, it'll be last chance saloon, hun. Yeah. We'll put it up. If it doesn't go after a little while, we'll do something else with right, it. Yeah. But it's yeah. worth, for that price, it's worth giving it a go. Yeah. This one, hun, you may notice the sound as you move it. No oh dear. It sounds rusty. This is inside. like a child's sort of warming plate, but it's got some damage underneath. It's got some holes. Oh, God. <clears throat> Excuse me. We must have had that in the last list. Didn't yeah, we did, yeah. yeah it's, it's quite it's, old. Um, yeah. It's, uh, the plate's in good condition, though. Yeah. It's quite old. It's um, rusted through, hun. Yeah, so it's not not really. It's more decorative. I think so. It's not yeah. not usable now because at no. the bottom here <laughs> there are out. a couple. It will just it will just come out of there. So yeah. But, but no, it's, it is. You don't it's not. See a lot of these things around, see, do you? No, That's not now. But yeah, it's definitely more more decorative. So we're going to um, give that a go at eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine. See if we can yeah. get a tenner for it and the same sort of thing. I think we'll put a bit of a time limit on things. Yeah. Because they've obviously been online. Yeah. I don't know how long they've been online for. But, you know, if it's been a while, then we'll give it another go, another crack at it. And if it doesn't go, then we will um, we will look to sort of um, bundle them in some way, I think. Yeah, yeah. I like this little jug. There's something cute about it, but it has got a bit of damage. It's got a chip and someone's tried to cover up the chip by colouring it in. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But it is oh, a lovely, I don't know, it's a yes. lovely jug. I couldn't chuck it away, hun. Yeah. So I've tried it on eBay. Um, it's not sold. I don't know what we even had it priced for because the listing's gone. But I've priced it at 7 99 But I right. think we'll put it up. If it doesn't sell within a certain time, then we might just auction it. Yeah. 
and then last chance I suppose it'll have to go in an auction box or bundled mm. but you know when you can't sometimes when something's nice you can't you can't, you can't chuck it away. Yeah. It's criminal, yeah. I think, sometimes to just chuck stuff away. But yeah. because if you have it faced around, you can. It, it looks lovely. It does. Yeah, it looks very nice. But it's the postage on these sorts of things that's, that put people off because it makes it quite expensive. Yeah, that's it. So now I think yeah. we're over to the stuff on the floor, huh? Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna pull this around, aren't we? Should we start? Oops. <sighs> Start with this? Yeah, or I did think you so. want to go no, there? No, no, I'm not in any order, hun. Not in any order. Well, this is um, Melon Dug Sunny Patch Bundle. So if you're so not, it's like um, beach. Yeah, stuff, if, you, isn't it? if you don't know Melissa and Doug, they are a very famous American brand. Yeah. Um, well known for good quality wooden products. What may it was? It started out, wouldn't it, with, with wooden products? And it yeah. still mainly is wooden products. But toys, sorry, yeah. and toys. Husband and wife team developed yeah. a whole toy range in their garage and went on to become very successful. Very successful. It's a yeah. very well known brand. They they are very famous for their wooden items. Yeah. But they they a lot of their items are really colourful, really good for young children. Yes. We, they over are. the years we've had lots and lots of we've items. We've had a lot of mellow duck stuff, yeah. Um, yes. but these are all got little bits of Slight, slight damage yeah, or slight marks. marks. They're all new, but they've yeah. got something wrong with them. Yeah, still got Normal the tags. marks. Um, but, but yes, I don't know if you can see down there. There's, there's little marks and things. It's like when that. you have plastic rubbing against plastic, yeah, it creates that's marks, it. isn't it? It does. But you um, know. But you can't. It's, it's still, you can't just chuck this sort of thing away. No, and it's all still usable. They're going to be not... used in the garden and in, at the beach, so yes, they're never going to stay. Damaged. You know, they're going to get damaged, aren't they? Yeah. So what we tend to do with these sorts of things, if they are a bit damaged, we'll lump them together because um, you're never going to get a great amount from singly. And we had a few of these bundles, didn't we, a, a fair while back now. Mm. And we wondered why this one hadn't sold, and that's obviously why, because it's fallen yeah, off. Yeah, it's fallen off. It's <clears> just, yeah, it's another frustrating thing. But we've got it up for 16.99, hun. Yeah. So realistically, if you look, if someone's looking to offer 15, it makes it a fiver each. Yeah. Which is probably about half the price of what it would be going for each item. Like, yeah. Do you think these are probably 10, 12, 15 pound now? Yeah, the buckets. These buckets yeah. And that. Yeah. So, um, you know, for that price, you're getting three brand new toys. It's yeah. Not bad, is it? No, that's good. And oh, oh, let's trap under the table. All right. Now this is an odd one, Hum, because we've got these online singly. Yeah, I, I did. Um, I had them single, but I also did a, like a multi pack as well. Mm. I think this is the multi pack. And I think the multi pack has fallen off. Uh, I've even got. Was it on this one? Yeah, look, I've even got the the listing, uh, listing number. number on the on the side <coughs> of the box, just so I can <coughs> tally it up. But yeah, it's um, uh, My Little Pony uh, ponies. <laughs> uh, this is rarity. And um, yeah, so it was, it was a basically just a lot of three mm -hmm. of the. It's, it was the same one really, um, but yeah, the listing just vanished, so what which was, is which is really annoying. So what I was sort of looking at, hun, rather than doing a brand new listing, I thought because the numbers are low on the others, we just yeah, add we'll them just to we'll, it. we'll add it to the other listing. But again, it's you know, it shouldn't have just dropped off. No, there's 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 no there was no reason for it. So um, these are going to be nine ninety nine each, and they'll just get added to the other listing. That's yeah. the quickest, most effective yes. way of getting them on. I think. I think we had quite a few of them, and I oh, think that this stage, is yeah. why um, I did uh, different listings mm. um, just to start sort of uh, moving them on. And um, yeah, it's just just frustrating. Mm. But yeah. So what we got here? <laughs> I think yes. we missed the boat for this one, haven't we? Just what you want to find after Christmas. After Christmas, you do a stock check and you find some Christmas ornaments. Yeah. <laughs> Was it mess free glitter? Mess free glitter. Again, there. this is Melissa and Doug. Yeah. Um, they do all these this sort of fantastic stuff, don't they? Um, yeah, so it's sort of a decorate your own um, tree ornaments, is it? It is, and these are, these are really good because a lot of people, when they see the word glitter, they sort of they, run they, for the hills. Yeah, they do, yeah. But, but these so well designed because what they are is it's glitter on sheets and you sort of lay it on top and then you rub it off the sheet and it yeah. then sticks to the bit sticks of foam. The, yeah, that's it. So um, anyone of any age can do it. Um, I've got some on our tree that we made with Emily years ago years when ago, we, yeah. we opened a pack. Yeah. Um, 
and it makes no mess. It says mess free in there. I could pick up. No it's, glitter it's, falls off it at all. It's yeah, really clever. They are fantastic. And um, we've got oh, five of them. Well, the thing is, they go for quite good money as well, hon. Obviously, not now. Not now, um, they won't. So we've got another another eleven months. <laughs> but eight ninety nine each. Really? Yeah. Again, that's it's just oh, it, it angers me if I'm honest with I you. I know. But it's you know we, we need to do stock checks more often. I think. Um, is this? Yeah, that's one. Now I've put nothing against the price of this because I don't think we can list it singularly. No, it's just a car. It's the last one. What I must have had is is a, a, a few of them or, mm. or what, and um, yeah, just and that's just the last one. It's just the last one. It's obviously the listing's probably been there. Had, it had been there for a while. Yeah, and it's just dropped off. Yeah, and it's left over from when we used to have the stock in shops as well. That's right. Yeah, the shops we did. That we've got our old labelling on. Yeah, that's right. So we'll end up um, bundling that, won't we? Hunt? Yeah, we'll put it with something else. Um, what have we got here? Another Melissa and Doug item. Yeah. The only thing I find when they shrink wrap them is it distorts the... Yeah, it's too tight, isn't it? Mm. So this is a jumbo colouring pad. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and this is going to go up for seven ninety nine. Yeah. Again. Yeah, it was on there. Yeah. I know that. Oh. It's all of the, when you look at it, it's all of these items. It's so frustrating. I know. But anyway, here's what it it's is. It's the time it? to do it all again as well. Yes. What a waste We've of time. <laughs> another Melissa and Doug item here. It's a Disney princess wooden cube puzzle. Yeah. Um, these are yeah. good, these cube puzzles. I mean, they're very they difficult are. because even though they're for kids, they're quite difficult for adults because you take the cubes out and each side's got a different different picture. picture on. Yeah, that's it. So there's what, what four different six six, six scenes. Can you imagine how difficult that's going to yeah. be. <laughs> mm. What age range does it say? Does it say three? Age three, three plus. plus. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I'd struggle with that. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, so that again fallen off, and what we going to be. This is actually worth nineteen ninety nine, hun. That's oh. what that's going up for. I know. But if it sells in the new year, that'd be quite nice, won't it? Yeah, no, it'd be great if it sells. But if it sells, that's, that's, <laughs> this is the thing. This is all Christmas stuff. It's a waste to waste to sell stuff before it falls off. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. There we go. This. Another Melissa and Doug item. It's uh, a zoo animal train set. Oh, I've got the back of it. Let me show you the back. The front there. Yeah, it's a little sort of round. Is it round? Yeah, just round train set. Um, yeah. Wooden uh, animals. Yeah, yeah. And that hung is going up for nineteen ninety nine. I know. Crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> I just got this. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps one of them might do the job. <laughs> well, don't yeah, get a okay, hernia trying right. to lift the hole. I just wanted to show everyone how annoyed I was, really. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'll show this one. So, this was a, a pack of two we did on these um, Toy Story figures. Yeah, Were these they... are called um, Spins Spinzels. Spinzels. Spinzel, never heard of it, have you? Yeah. Spinzels. But, um, but anyway, like we, did, spinning tops. we did a pack of two on them, yeah. and uh, again, they vanished. Nowhere to be seen. I think that's Woody and Lotso. Yeah. And we've also got, that, so we've got two lots of those, two pairs, um, and we've also got a pair of Woody and Alien. Right, okay. So each yeah. pair is eleven ninety nine. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, I think it's the last item, is it? It is, it's the, it's the job lock, my love. This is the one, again, well, to be honest with you, I'm annoyed with all of this. But, um, but yeah, I had a job lock of uh, wooden number peg puzzles. And it was a job lock of, where are we? 20. Yeah, uh, 20 of them, yeah. I decided to, um, we've had, been having a little bit of this. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, some things weren't really selling singly, so we thought we'd out them as, as job lots. Mm. And um, been quite successful in, in getting rid of some of the stuff, haven't mm, we? And we've still so got a few job lots. This, yeah, unfortunately, this one, the job lot is, is just nowhere to be seen. It's, it's, it's vanished. 
Again, that's just been sat on the shelf, um, doing nothing. Now I've priced this up, Han, at twenty nine ninety nine. But what we do here is I, I do all the research for the prices. But sometimes there are cases where Paul will look at it and go, "Well, actually, I think we can get a bit look more at the money." Look at them. <laughs> I think we can get a bit more money for that. So I've priced it at twenty nine ninety nine, but it may go up a little bit depending on your experience of job lots. <laughs> I don't really do the job lots, do I? You, you do the yeah. pricing for the job. So you, if you think you can get more money, then you would normally put a little bit more on it. So yeah, yeah. Um, so so yeah, yeah, you could so have a look at your other job lots and compare, can't you? Really? Yes, yes, definitely. But no, it's it's just oh, you know when you it's, it's still all this is taking up space on the shelf for, mm. for nothing. It's just sat there. We're just storing it, and that's that's the annoying thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why it happens. It's happened for quite a while now, hasn't it? Mm. But um, but you know, is what it is. I think it's, it's the, the the it's not only the loss of sales. It's the waste of time. Yeah. That you've got to go all through it again. Yeah. As I say, an hour and fifty three minutes to just to find out all the pricing. Mm. It's probably because I'm not working at full capacity at the minute, so it's probably going to be a couple of hours to get them all listed. You've then got to photograph everything, so I don't know how much time that will be. Um, yeah. But we're probably looking around about five hours ish in total because you've then got to, you've then got to locate them all. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so when you look at it, it's not only the the loss of that, but it's the loss of your time. Mm. That you're never going to get that back. No. That's so it. this is the amount, hun. Do you want to do the big reveal? The big reveal, the big total of the stuff that's just dropped off of eBay. Yeah. Um, Three hundred and ninety-two pound and seventy-one pence worth of stock. It's just been sat there doing nothing because, for some reason, the eBay system or whatever it is has decided. You're not having that anymore. No. I don't want that listing up there anymore. Yeah. And it's it's so frustrating. But yeah. You know, it's what it is. It's just it? given us a lot more work to do, which is what we don't really need. No. We like to use this time of year to have a sort out. Mm. And we're a bit behind now because we've not been. We are. Well. We are. Yeah, that's it. We are. We haven't even started the tubs yet, and we're already. No. You know, you've got that to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, we've got to start that, <laughs> and we're not really fit enough to be able to start that yet. Mm. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's what it is, isn't it? It is. Um, you know what? What? What can you do? I mean, you, you can contact eBay about it, but they generally they'll they say, "Oh, there's no problem." It's well, just, it's just it's, you know, because there's no record of the listing at all. No, you know what I mean? It's it's just just literally vanished. And with the Barbie one, for instance, it happened twice mm. because we had a damaged packaging and a brand new listing, and for some reason, both of them had just gone. And what would be um, really good, you know, to to make eBay better than it is, would be mm. to have access to your listings for a longer longer time period. Well, it would. But 30, the, the, is it ninety days? Is it? Yeah, at the moment. It's just not enough. But that's sometimes. for items that have ended. I know. I've seen these some of these listings recently, so I think they have literally just vanished. Yeah. So it's like this one here. I know this this has been is is less than three months. I sold these less than three months ago, yeah. and the the listing has is, is not there. Mm. So it's when they when you say it drops off, it literally drops off without a trace. Yeah. Um, Another glitch, perhaps I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, <clears throat> but you know, it's a probably a, another thing that eBay. Well, I wouldn't have thought they'd admit, would they? No, no. And um, yeah, so it is what it is. It's one of those. The joys of selling on eBay, it and is, yeah. um, you know, you, you have, have to, to deal with it, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. And you just plod on. You have to deal with it. But you know, I suppose we've got a lot of listings up there, uh, 50, yeah. 15, 1600 something like that. Mm. And um, we've probably gone through about half, maybe a bit more. Hopefully, a bit more. A bit more, because we've got the tubs left to to go. Yeah. Um, to that at all, huh? So, um, so I suppose percentage-wise, it's quite a low percentage, but it shouldn't happen at all. That's no. that's the, that's the thing, and it's just just frustrating. But there you go. Here's what it is. So, so we did have a um, a message hun from Malcolm, didn't we? Who is the two-legged reseller who's mm. already put his um, his guess for the for how many we're going to have in the tubs 
Oh, yeah. His guess was in the 40s. 40s? Um, yeah. Oh, no, no. So we just want to make it very clear that if Malcolm is wrong, he's got to come round and do us dinner. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's it. You're cooking dinner for us, Malcolm. If you're making a comment about Malcolm, that's what you're doing. Yeah, if you, if that's lost, your guess, that's your guess. <laughs> you've got to come round and do us dinner. We'll give you our address. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we're not looking forward to doing that, are we? No, no, but like I say, the... the, the that will be a, a video coming out soon. Um, yeah, so don't know we, how we soon. can bore, bore you with that. I'm sorry, this has probably been a bit of a, a moany video. Yeah, I don't think we're very peppy today. No, we're, we're not peppy today, so I'm sorry about that. But, but this um, is the best it's been <laughs> since Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So but, um, this we, we the, this is the thing. We, we had New Year and had a lovely time at New Year, didn't we? Watching yeah. the fireworks, everything. Yeah. And then we went back to work on the 3rd. Um, for a day, managed to get all the stuff looked at for the video, got all the stuff ready for the clothing video, and then boom, that was it. That was it, it was just too, um, we couldn't do it. So this has been sat on our table since then, hasn't it? It we has, had to yeah. walk by it every day, looking yeah. at it, going, oh no, we're coughing too much today, we can't talk today. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, so I'm sorry that we've made you wait for a video and then it's this. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, it's not, it, you know. But we I, desperately need to get it off our table because we do. It, we're we fed need up to with start seeing this stuff. Dealing with it and get it We need gone. to get it back in the garage and yeah. on, don't we? So that will be our mission um, over the next couple of days. Yeah. Is to get it off the table and into the garage so that it's visible and it's got a chance of selling. That's it. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it, hun, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're pretty much done. So again, thank you if you've watched all of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you've done well there. <laughs> you've done very well. <laughs> oh, excuse but, me. Um, but yeah, no, I think we'll end there. Yeah. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. And if you liked our content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free. Um, you've only got to press the little red subscribe button and the uh, bell icon. Doing it, hun. You're doing it every time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, once you press that uh, notification bell, you'll be notified for our future videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.